it, it ended up working out in every way possible. So, like, just because you feel comfortable at a place and you, you think that you're secure, like, don't ever be afraid to take a leap of faith yes. in a sense because it could, like I said, it could be one of the best decisions you ever make and work out so well. Well said. Yeah. I like it. Thank you, A I M E E. <laughs> With the heart. Double e. One heart or two hearts. With a heart. Don't forget the dotted heart. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. <laughs> On today's episode, what happens when you leave your restaurant job for another? Here to discuss is Amy Calta, but first, the intro. <laughs> I'm working dead beat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. And if you As usual, I'm joined by my good friend Danny DeVilla. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Firstly, Amy, do you ever get people pushing back and saying that's not how you spell Amy? Yeah, but I also had it changed when I was 13 years old. Get out of here. Yeah, it was AMY when I was born. <laughs> so you chose And the it. craziest thing is I wanted to change it so I could dot it with a heart. And my parents let me. Like, what the f- what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> Why would you let me make a decision like that at 13 years old? <laughs> I love it even more. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. What what did you have to do to to change it? They had to do something in court, like legally. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I was AMY, my brother's IAN, because my mom's like, my kids are going to be the first to spell their names. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <they're searching>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I went and screwed all that up, so. We, a lot of times, do suggest people level up. In mm-hmm. order to level up, you have to leave your job for the most part. A lot of times, some some places let you or level have up. that yeah. latitude mm-hmm. to move up from... Up, up the corporate ladder. Up the ladder of preferred Force jobs yeah. in, the, uh, in the restaurant industry. And so Amy wanted to, she reached out to me. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that conversation. So basically, I just had a Facebook memory popped up on my Facebook from years ago when I was leaving my job Mm -hmm. and I came to my current job and I just thought of you guys and I was like, you know, I feel like that would be a good topic for their podcast because I remember how difficult it was for me to make those decisions and leave, you know, one job behind to start another. I just thought it would be interesting to talk about. So the uh, the Facebook memory basically was you starting a new, new job. job? No, it was, was it was, it was like my my goodbye, like okay. from my last job. Okay. Yeah, so that's what just made me think of it. And w- what type of job? You, you don't necessarily have to say where it was, right? But what what kind of uh, restaurant was it? It was a chain restaurant. It was um, seafood. Okay. Um, but I had been there for like 12 years and I had opened a lot of their restaurants. I had traveled. I was a head waitress. Okay. So I had a lot invested in that job. So I'm interested to know why you left in the first place. Um, well, I had a friend that worked at my current job who Boom. really wanted me to come there. Mm-hmm. Um, he thought it was a better opportunity for me. And he... He thought that it would be good for me because I was in a new town as well. Okay. And it was closer to where I lived and he just he just thought it would be good for me. And did it take some convincing? Yeah, it took a lot of convincing because like I said, I had been with my last job for so long and it's there's a level of comfort there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You build up seniority, you know the place like the back of your hand. You True. know the menu. You know the yeah. menu, you know I mean you know everything at that point. And it's like I said, it's it's secure. It's a security thing. Yeah. And clearly they like you if you're going to be, you know, corporate training and things like exactly. that. Exactly. So then you made so then it's important to know that you made two leaps then. Right. You, yeah. You moved to a different city and you changed the restaurant. Right. And so your friend moved like was already down here. Did you did they make a move as well? Yeah, he we actually worked together at the job that I left. Boom. So, and the job that I that I was working at, they're all over the country. So, mm-hmm. even though I'd moved to a different town, I could have just easily just transferred. True. And I had done that so many times in the past. I've worked at at least seven different of them over the years. Yeah. So, like it wasn't just like I had to leave the job because I was moving. There was, you know, you, you, you had opportunity here at the same plant. At, at, at yeah, with the same, yeah, with the same, yeah, with same, the same restaurant. Okay. Minus the move, what was your biggest fear work-wise coming into it? What was your biggest unknown? Um, 
well, obviously, finance, finances, mm. you know, you when you are used to knowing or making a certain amount, and that's pretty standard, and it, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really... F- doesn't fluctuate. Yeah, it doesn't fluctuate. To take that leap of faith is a huge... That was the biggest thing for me. Yeah. Because, I, like I said, when you work for a place for so long, and then you, you know, get the title of, like, head waitress, and you're guaranteed, you know, a certain section, and... Mm certain amount of hours on the floor and like certain certain amount of seats you know what i mean like those True. those are things it's like it's like guaranteed in a way and to leave that to go to like total unknown yes it's it takes a lot it really does it was it's a really hard decision i'm so glad i made it though that's the whole that's the, the best thing about it. it was probably one of the best things i ever did for myself okay so your your old place was if i if i'm hearing you correctly pretty corporate yeah for sure and so did he did he warn you? I mean, he encouraged you, but what, did it come with any warnings? <laughs> uh, well, we both know who I'm talking about and him recommending anything to begin with should have been a warning enough. No, just kidding. Love you. E. <laughs> um, no, I mean, he honestly, he had nothing but good things to say. So, no, there was no warnings. Don't you think there should have been? Maybe. <laughs> but again, we both know who we're talking about, so. <laughs> yeah, there definitely should have been. I mean, not everything is all good. But he didn't say, he didn't tell me any of the negatives. Okay, so you did the trust fall. Yes. And, and you, you, you said, all right, I'm going to ride with you. How, how did, did you come down uh, having the job already? Did, no. Was it a strong recommendation? No, I actually, when I first moved, I had originally transferred to a, another store okay. that I was still working. So, so working you had at. security in your mind now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I, you even... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's that not like I left there and came here. I, yeah, okay. I, I'd worked at... I'd transferred to an, another location and I was there for like the first three months that I lived in Fort oh, Lauderdale. Okay. Yeah, so it was after being here that I finally made that decision. You know, I did that when I moved down here, although I wasn't necessarily strong in the business. Yeah. I knew that I wanted to work right away. It's good away. to have a job. Yeah. Yes. It's, I mean, that in itself gives you that mental security. Yes, without a doubt. Yeah. And so um, a friend of mine was the area director of, uh, of the chain, mm-hmm. and I worked a weekend, put me in as a transfer, and I came down here, instant job. And so that's one of the things that whenever you're in this business... Mm-hmm. I could say, hey, man, I want to move to Colorado. And I know I'm confident in short order. I can find a good job. Yeah. But if I want that immediate yeah. start. Right. Day, you don't have to train. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to take the pay cut for a couple weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, listen, when you're used to making cash every day, yeah, that's a big deal. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's, that's now coming into one of the considerations of changing jobs is – do they pay cash? Absolutely. Is it in oh, your yeah. check? Yeah. Question for you. Yes. When you did come down and you were here for those first three months, did they like honor your old schedule? Did you have to well, did you have to work towards a newer schedule or how did it work? So that's another thing too. Like when I transferred, they are, had already filled their head weight positions with people that had been at that location for yeah. a cer- certain Not amount of time. Yeah. So I wasn't able to transfer back into my position. position. It was basically like I was starting at the bottom, even though I think I'd been working for the company at that point longer than that location had even been there. So <laughs> like knowing that mm-hmm. and then like having to like be the low man, you know what I'm saying? The bottom, yeah. it was it was hard. And I I didn't feel I didn't feel secure. And I also didn't feel like I like I why did I move to why did I move to Fort Lauderdale to just work at the same place and drive 30 minutes to work mm, and not yeah. even get to like see or be or work in my my new city okay it just felt like it just felt like everything was wrong ah you know what i mean it just it just felt like this is not why i moved down here just to live the same life in a different town and now i'm also hitting rush hour traffic driving 30 40 minutes on the highway i don't even get to see the town where i'm living or meet people that live in the same town you know it's it was it was yeah i mean there's definitely like things that made my decision to leave that job for a new one, there's things that definitely helped or made it easier for me to make that choice, but it was still a hard decision to make at the right. end of the day. So let's let's go to the decision that you did make. You 
now work at a place which is very Fort Lauderdale Beach. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're in the city. Oh, you... I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there like swimwear, baby. <laughs> Literally, you're you are there. Your your front office is the ocean. Ocean view. The ocean. And so, what was what was the first thing that struck you when you walk in walked into the building? Um, just how not corporate it was. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. How just the environment was unlike any any place I had ever worked, mm -hmm. any restaurant I'd ever been in, working working or not. It was just it was a totally different vibe. <laughs> what was your first? Uh, okay, two questions, two parter. It's, okay, it's a two part. What was your first? experience with getting homework of seeing it done right and what what were your thoughts describe to basically what the homework is you mean like learning the menu and stuff no the certain manager no, who would, the uh, homework homework yes. oh my god <laughs> i actually was fortunate enough to never get homework but or... you saw people get homework yeah, I saw people get homework. Okay, so so just explain. Yes. Like, what 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 was your mental on that? Yeah, what like explain to them what homework is. Okay, then... so basically homework is when you <laughs> were late for a shift, showed up hungover, called out. Yeah, when you messed up. Bad. When you messed up, basically. When you messed up, bad. Yeah. when you messed up bad, and this is your second trip. It, it's either homework. This or is your saving fired. grace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> saving grace. Yeah. And this is what makes the restaurant almost like a family. Right. It, yeah. It, it was it's not enough to get you fired. <laughs> yeah. But in lieu of suspension. <laughs> I think sometimes people kind of wish they, you know what, <laughs> they should have just fired me. <laughs> this, is, this is too much. <laughs> no, but th then you could bow out. That's true. You know, but they don't because... Yeah, I mean, that was something I've never seen before in my life. And so what was the first thing that you saw? I that you think, if I remember correctly, they were late or showed up for a shift, hungover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or not, late in showed for a shift, hungover. Whatever. Or all the above, probably. And she, <laughs> she had to make a diorama, like, <laughs> with, like, dolls showing <laughs> why, what, she was why, late. She was, yes. why she was late. And I just remember her bringing it in one day, and <laughs> I'm still I'm like, how like what is that like I don't I don't get like, it was so funny because people had to be so creative. Oh yeah. And but they still it was listen it's not like it was easy peasy like this was a lot of work that they no, had. To, there were some hours. Involved oh yeah, in, like I that I've heard of other things like writing I will not show up late like three hundred no, times. They had to write that too. I'm pretty sure. Maybe no, no, no. it's usually one thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually, you know, you had to write lines and it was significant amount. It wasn't. Oh, like, yeah. It, oh, yeah. Know, it, 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 it wasn't small done in the notebook. There was one yeah. that you had to put in a, on a thing because they went no. on display. Remember Alberti had to do it in the parking That's lot? That's what I was just going to say. Didn't somebody have to do it in chalk in the parking yes. lot? <laughs> Can you imagine like how difficult that must have been? Oh, my God. But that's like it's it's funny. You know what I mean? And it's you're going to think twice next time before showing up late or. Yes. But no, yeah, that was like one thing that I was like, this is this is so unique, but it is. It just makes the whole atmosphere with everybody that works there like a family because, you know, you're. It, it's just different. It was just like I said, it was just a whole different vibe. Okay, so now we're uh, we're changing. We're, we're, we've changed the jobs, and uh, what was, what was your you got who who hired you? How'd you get the job? So can I say names? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I originally went in and apply when I applied, it was Dave. Okay. And then Dave told me to come back and meet with Greg. Okay. So technically Greg hired me, but okay. it was mostly Townsend that put in the good word for me. And did your did your friend like put in the recommendation? Oh yeah, for said, sure. Hey, okay. Yeah, because right. I don't even think at that time they were even hiring. All right. But yeah, no, yeah, because it was off season, it was summer. But because I knew Eric and he had told them I was coming, and I kind of already had a little little in. What was what was training like? <laughs> um, training was different than any other place I've ever seen. Basically, doing a food running shift, if I remember mm -hmm. right. Um, just standing in the kitchen watching. Did you have to do one or two food runs? Did you do what, breakfast? And, I mean, not breakfast. We didn't, no, breakfast. We didn't have breakfast. <laughs> did you have to do lunch and dinner? Oh, the good old days. <laughs> did you have to do lunch and dinner? Uh, yeah, I did okay. lunch and dinner. And then. And then think, you had to do three follows, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did they, did they make you do the menu test? Or you didn't have to? Uh, I think eventually they did, but it was like 
months and later. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 two fo- two um, kitchen follows and then three regular follows. Yeah. yeah oh, and another the great thing was Posi Touch. That's what I used for the last yeah. twelve years at my other job. Okay. So I was already so you knew the system already. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I was I had weight. So not only did I know the system you as knew a the server, ins- system. I knew the ins and outs of the system. Like I knew there was a lot of stuff that you know people would people would come to me and say, "Aim, how do you do this?" And I've been working there two weeks. They've been there for two years. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was cool. That made it a lot. That made the transition a lot easier too. Now speaking of the transition, what was the difficult, the most difficult part of the transition? Um, just being the new kid on the block. Mm. Even though I was lucky because I knew some people already, mm-hmm. just from being best friends with somebody that already worked there. Yeah. So I had actually met a few of my coworkers before I'd even applied there, just from hanging out with him and meeting up with him when he got off work. A lot of you guys were there. Mm. No, I met you. So that was that also made it a lot easier. There was a lot of there was a lot of circumstances that were unique that don't normally happen when you start a new job. Like I, I got lucky, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I already knew people, I knew the system. So I had, I had a lot of things that were already going for me, which like I said, made it a lot easier. And how did you experience the, uh, the schedule then? Um, the schedule, schedule where there was nothing really unique for me with that. It's still paper then, right? Uh, no, I, that's, yeah, I, I had already been using hot schedules. For... Wait, we had hot schedules? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we already had hot schedules. Really? Okay. Danny, this was only like six years ago. <laughs> this wasn't 16, okay? <laughs> I don't remember when uh, hot schedules came out. I mean, if it went up to Townsie, we would still be using paper and pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the schedule, there was nothing like different or that I had to adjust to. It was just letters and numbers which i had never seen before <laughs> oh, for, the for the stations sta- yes that makes sense and and so for for that particular job the sec- the stations are in letters for during the day for during the day and numbers at night and you're right i've never seen that yeah that was definitely unique either. um also it was hard getting you know you don't get the best sections or the best shifts when you're new because people have that have been there you know they have seniority they have earned it so I had to like work really hard during those first few months to like prove myself mm-hmm. and show, you know, what kind of worker I was and it paid off cuz not it didn't take very long but I I was I felt like I felt like I had been there for years in a very short few months because I was treated I was treated based off of my work ethic okay. and how hard I busted my ass you know so i was rewarded very quickly for the job that i was doing yes which was cool because you know that makes it easier i agree with you i feel that with that particular place you have an opportunity to i don't want to say you're not going to the top because there's just some mainstays that are there right However, you can get to the middle real fast. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You and can the middle's de- yeah. real comfortable. The middle's for, comfortable. For the sure. Middle is comfortable. Especially at a place like that. I mean, middle is, you're, you're still making money yeah, in the middle, yeah, you know? Yeah, without a doubt. Because the middle, you're going to be considered to be able, if you're, let's say you're hustling, right? And you want to pick up shifts. If you're at the bottom, you're not getting those shifts. Right. They're not approving those shifts. Right. But if you're in the middle, it's no problem. You can close. Right. You can, Ex- you can go exactly. into the station. You can you can handle this party or whatever the case may be. I, even if you're you're um, pooling with somebody, mm-hmm. how, you know you, you could share that. You could split that up. And so that to me is what I like about that place is that you can really prove yourself for sure in a short amount of time. Absolutely. Absolutely. The downside is it's that you really as as the uh, the bottom, so to speak. And the reason why we speak in terms of bottom and, and, and middle because the, the the schedule before you I guess obviously before you started you said okay, yes. you had hot schedule was on a sheet of paper yeah I've, and, I heard and you could cut that paper in half <laughs> and you could see who the seniority was and who the new people were exactly and that is exactly why we talk about the middle that way right <laughs> yes because you when you're going down and whether you're you you want to change your shift who can who can take my shift and things like that. That's what goes through your mind because the manager is going to say, "Look, it. <laughs> I'd love to help you out, but 
Oh, that's going to be enough. Right here? <laughs> <laughs> I can't replace you. <laughs> For them? You know? <laughs> and it's not an even trade. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, and, I mean, listen, there's a double edged sword. You're going to want a warm body no matter what. Yeah. How it, because that's just the way it is. Right. However, you and I both know the reality. Oh, yeah. You don't want to work harder, especially as a manager. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to, if you already have your, your uh, our manager now says, has his pieces into place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have to work harder, you know, to, to fill that situation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And now, how how is the how does the money compared now? When you're one, some of the biggest things that you're concerned about the seniority, you're losing your seniority, and you already had an idea of how much money you'll be right. able to make. make. Yeah, and so as long as the schedule facilitates that, you're you're good to go. And now you had a leg up socially right because you had an in you already met a few people right. there and things like that i'm gonna ask this delicately how do you navigate the the closeness <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what do you what do you uh, mean <laughs> how can i put it a different way there's there's a certain uh you know Harassment of okay. the sexless <laughs> nature. <laughs> that happens in a restaurant Dude, right be- as a whole. Right before you said it, I was like, okay, I got it. It went like this. I was like, wait a minute. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I mean, but, all right. All right. Let me put this delicately. <laughs> um, you Just need compare some, the two. Compare it, the it, two. It, it there there is no comparison. <laughs> I mean, there, there's just not like. I, I can don't. imagine at a corporate place, it's uh, it's not happening. No, not happening. Like, but I, it's a restaurant, so it has to happen on. Right. Right. It happens I mean, on yeah, it happens. Level, at, but... It happens in every restaurant, but you know, just develop some thick skin. Is all I can say. <laughs> That's all I can say. Let it go in one ear and out the other. I mean, but I, I get it because you are a person that you have perspective about a lot of things. Right. And and we have noticed that it, it it's uh it's a challenge because we were very familiar with each other and I think that's what blurred the line between employee friends and right. other. And for newer People, people seeing that seeing that yeah it's like wild kingdom exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a nice way to put it <laughs> um yeah yeah <laughs> um it, it was listen it's it was definitely more than i had ever experienced it or seen it mm-hmm. in a restaurant or at any job but it's it's also it, it also in a way is like what makes it even more of a family dynamic yeah. because when you're comfortable enough to be able to joke with your coworkers like that knowing yeah. that like you're not going to get in trouble they're not going to get offended you know you just you give it back to each other i mean yeah. i i don't mind it i actually think it's funny and it it, it makes work fun sometimes you know just being okay. able to just be so br- brutally honest sometimes, <laughs> you know what I mean. So like it does it doesn't bother me. It's almost me. like a rough fresh air. Yeah, in, 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 in a crazy in, yes world it, that we live in, in now, where you can't talk about anything. In the most way possible, it is such <laughs> a breath of fresh air. So <laughs> like when I've seen people come in and they're like, "Oh my god, you just said that," I'm like, "Get over it, like <laughs> get over it, like that that's just how it is here. If you don't like it, leave, <laughs> you know." And that's coming from me. <laughs> so yeah, I get what you're saying. How uh, how was side work the the differences in side work? I'm curious to know because I've gone places as a new job, and that was the that was a deal breaker for me. Yeah, like, I... you guys are doing way too much side work here, <laughs> and compared to the money that you make, right? If you're making a lot of money. I'm like, okay, and I yeah. don't have side work, no problem. I, I'm going to do it. But compared to the money, I know how much money do you make. But side work is is very. You have to. It's the, it's the type of side work that you kind of have to know, the ins and outs of the whole restaurant as a because it's a small place, right? And so some of the side work, whether like we used to do laundry, yeah, or or when to do the bar, mm-hmm. basically, it might be a side work, but 
if you're holding off till the end, then you're then it's or till service bar leaves. Yeah, you're adding an hour to your your off the out rip. time. Yeah, how did you? I find that side work there's a little you know it can be all or nothing where this is super easy. Yeah, and, I mean, listen, personally, I don't think any part of side work at Zuck is hard. Mm-hmm. Con- considering the money we make, okay, it's nothing to what pick a pick a side work at the end of the night okay get it done go do your roll-ups you're out you know what i mean like there i've worked at places where i mean you're spending an hour hour and a half after your shift you like weren't even allowed to start side work until you were cut had your tables were gone it's not like that there you can you can try and do both at the same time yeah you can work it in yeah yeah and like i said i never thought that any any part of the side work that we do there was difficult. I actually thought it was really easy. I have a question for those of you who are listening or watching. Let me know in the comments or write to me, um, themodernwaiter at gmail.com or at the Modern Waiter Podcast on Instagram. Uh, follow me there. I want to know when you're doing your side work, are you able – do you work at a place where you have to, to wait, wait till the end till your last table is gone to start side work or can you work your side work in while you're working okay. yourself out and j- definitely let me know because a lot of this is us collecting information right. and disseminating to, uh, to, to see how the other half lives in a way. Absolutely. That's why we do this podcast. And so I, I don't agree with you. I think that side work was, I think maybe you, you're used to it. Because he don't do side work anymore. I was, was going <laughs> well, I was used to doing a lot more. Okay. So for me, it was not a lot. Gotcha. But for somebody that doesn't know otherwise, true, I can see where it would seem like a lot. Understood. You know what I mean? Like silverware in particular, getting you had to finesse the dishwashers to. Get oh no! You your, still have to do that. Well, that's my point. That's like if you're new, which she's changing jobs. If you're new. They're not going to run your, your, oh, your no. silverware for you. Right. They're going to get to it when they get to it. So you're not even knowing that you have to ask or or perform for them a certain way for you to get the silverware when you're on when you have to get your silverware yeah. done to get it cleaned and then fine I'll rack it myself. But but I think she was more looking at the what you were saying is as the cyber as a whole. Not, that's a part of it. No, well, you got to do that's, roll ups. Yes, right. You're so, doing the roll ups, but, but I think she's to get more roll ups. What do you need? You need, you need to get it washed. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Go roll your silverware. What silverware? <laughs> I can roll up some napkins for you. If that'll, that'll exactly. help. No, I get what you're saying. Um, I never experienced that. Okay. I never had a problem. Um, Why? Because it's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe it was those. I don't, I don't know. Because I, 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 I've had to I mean, there's... beg to get the <laughs> There's a reason that to this day, when somebody needs something at work, Amy, can you go ask so and so? I get it all the time. Amy, can you go ask so and so to do this? Amy, can you ask go ask so and so to run the silver? <laughs> so at least you acknowledge it. Oh come on, of course I do. All right, then. All right, so it was more. What was how long at your other place did you have to do uh, side work for? Like, what was the average to get out? Um. I mean, the difference at my other job was you weren't allowed to even start side work until you were uh, cut. You worked at one of them. And you had no tables left. Mm. So, like, there would be nights sometimes where, like, my last table would have been done and paid and I've been cut for an hour and I'm just standing there. You couldn't start your side work or your silverware. I'm sorry. They had to be paid. Like the table had to be paid. Okay, they could they still had, be sitting okay, there, they had to be but paid. they had to be paid. Okay. But let's say they pay, you go to your side work, and you come back, you're done. They're still sitting there. You can't leave until they leave. Okay. Which was the dumbest thing in the world. So it's sort of fair. I kind of get it, but then I also feel like if you have someone that can, that's going to be there anyway, and you say, "Hey, can you watch over this table for yeah, me?" Yeah. If, you, if you're not uh, the closer, then yeah, yeah. No, it was that was. Just hold, just cold, dry. Leaving the table, I I don't agree with, but you should be able to leave as long as so, as long as somebody in the building, so, somebody's there to look. Yeah. not just in the building, because you could be in the building. I, I don't know if this happens to you, Danny, or 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 you, Amy. 
if you don't tell me... Oh, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to think about oh, yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Because you're, you're doing everything else anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I feel it's important to designate someone. No, yes, say, absolutely. Yeah. Say, hey, if somebody's just they're, in the just, they're sitting there, can you just keep an eye on They need another drink or refill some water. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. And it's just that simple. That makes yeah, sense. but that, it, it looks sick. It wasn't allowed. <laughs> and like, why? You know what I mean? Like, why? For what reason? Mm-hmm. And you know what? If you want, to, want us to stay on the clock, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, I... I get it and I don't, but, you know, the super corporate places, yeah. they, they tend to have those... Crazy rules. Crazy rules. They, they're protecting the interest of the guest. I get it. But at the same time, it's wildly impractical. For sure. You know, to, to just stand there at the ready with nothing to... No Dude. production. Yeah. Nothing. Just to, And no more money coming in. Yeah. yeah most importantly. <laughs> <laughs> most importantly. And so I'll let you go on uh, on one more. What was your what was the uniform differences for you? Um, well, I we we, we wore chef coats as oh, servers. Lee, no <laughs> like, wonder you left. I left on that alone. <laughs> chef coats as servers. Um, so that was very unique um, compared to like now it's all black, black oh, shirt. Okay. No, no, not everybody has to like have the same black shirt. You just have to have you. a collared black shirt. Yeah. Um, way more casual um and also our restaurant is outdoors half outdoors yes so you know if we had to wear that the chef coat ain't gonna work bruh (laughs) (laughs) Bruh. we already melt we We already already melt melt. is there anything that um did we accomplish what you hoped to to tell the people about your experience taking that leap that yes. Of faith in- There's one thing I want to I do want to add though because this was also like a major thing. I thought and I'm not going to say that I wasn't making good money at my last job. Mm-hmm. I I thought I was making good money. I was not making shit compared to what <laughs> <laughs> I make at this job. Yeah. And I you don't know how I you don't how would I know better? You know what I mean? Cuz until, I, you, level until yeah. you level up True. and then you like take a leap of faith and you're like, "Oh my god." Like Yeah. This is so much better in so many ways, and I'm making redi- money I didn't know was possible to make as a as a server. Yeah, you know, and so that to me was like the be- the best thing is that it it ended up working out in every way possible. So like just because you feel comfortable at a place and you you think that you're secure, like don't ever be afraid to take a leap of faith yes. in a sense because it could. Like I said, it could be one of the best decisions you ever make and work out so well. Well said. Yeah. We'll leave that there. I like it. Thank you, A I M E E. With the heart. Double one e. heart or two hearts. With a heart. Don't forget the dotted heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marlon Joseph, the Monowater. I'm Danny Villas, subscribe, 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 people. We'll do this for you each and every week. We'll see you next time. Later. I'm so glad you came here. You're waiting.